Hi, this is a short video to show you how to use the surveyor units in AutoCAD. I've given you this drawing with a construction line hor a vertical and a construction line horizontal. That just gives us a place to start each time. Let's quickly review just drawing a regular line segment using uh, the length and the angle option. Here we go. When I draw a line segment and I start here at this intersection point, I've moved my cursor up and to the right. You can see that it's asking me for a line length, so I'm going to type in 5. And then when I hit the tab key, it's going to ask me to specify the angle. And so I can put in an angle of 45 degrees. When I'm using this technique, remember this direction, if you follow my cursor, X, that's where zero is. That's where zero is. Zero, 90, 180, 270. Okay? In just a moment, we're going to change our angle units to be surveyor's units, and so zero is going to move. Let me demonstrate that. So let's type units. First, I'm going, let's, let's assume that we're going to be putting in uh, feet and inches uh, for our line length, okay? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my uh, units here to architectural. I'm going to change my angle type in this area over to the right to be surveyor's units. I'm going to change the precision to be I like to use the third one from the top. It gives me degrees, minutes, and seconds in two-digit forms. Boom. Now let's choose OK. Choose the line segment. Choose the start point. Now when you move your cursor, uh, the only really thing you're going to notice will be the uh, line length is it now in in fractional inches. It'll be in feet and inches as your cursor gets longer. And your, your angle is still displaying in uh, decimals, but it will accept a bearing. So let's just type some numbers. Ready? I'm going to type, uh, for instance, uh, let's just go six inches and then tab. Now instead of just entering a regular number, we're going to be entering the bearing. So here we go. One thing we have to realize first is this. This is no longer zero over here to the right. Straight up is zero. Okay? Straight up is zero or north. Straight down is south at zero. To the right is east. And then to the left is west. When you're using these bearings in surveyor's units, be sure to keep your uh, cursor above the horizon as you begin to type the angle. So here we go. Let's do, let's type in north, okay, north, 30 degrees, and then let's go to the west. So we're starting at this point of beginning. We're going north, and then we told it to go 30 degrees to the west. And so it should, the line segment should pop over here somewhere. Press enter. Point of beginning was here. We just did a, what, a six inch line segment? And then what we did was we told it north, go north first, and then let's go 30 degrees to the west, just like a compass. I'm going to use the distance tool, and I'm going to select the point of beginning, and then I'm going to select the end of my line segment, and the information that's kicked back is a 6-inch line segment, the angle in the xy plane, you can see it down at the bottom if you move your cursor. Angle in the XY plane is north 30 degrees, 0 minutes, 0 seconds to the west. Okay. Let's do another one. Line segment. 
point of beginning. Make sure the cursor is going upwards. This time, let's type another six inch line, tab, north, 15 degrees, the letter D, okay, the letter D, and let's go to the east this time and press enter. Here's our line segment. Notice we went north first and then 15 degrees to the east. Okay. Let's do some on the south. Line segment. Pick the start point again. Aim the cursor up. Doesn't matter if it's up and to the left or up and to the right. It just needs to be up. Now I'm going to type six inches again for my line length, tab key. This time I'm going to do south, 15 degrees D, and let's go to the east, and let's see what happens. Six inches line length, tab, then type for the bearing, south 15 D, and then E for east. Here we go, enter. This is the result line segment. It's six inches long. But now this time we started at the point of beginning and we went due south. And then we went 15 degrees to the east. Like that. Okay. Let's draw another line segment. Point of beginning the same. Aim your cursor upwards somewhere. In this case, I'm going to type six inches again for the line length and choose the tab key. The angle, I'm going to type north. Ready? Um, north 75 degrees with the D. Now let's put in some feet and, uh, and excuse me, some uh, minutes and seconds. So I'm going to type in 35 and then the, uh, it's the foot mark or it's the single apostrophe, right? But that indicates minutes. And I'm going to hit 35 or type in 35 seconds, which is the what? Inch mark or the double quotes there. Okay, but that indicates seconds. And then I'm going to go to the west. So repeating line segment. Choose the point of beginning, which was here. I typed in 6 for the line length and hit tab to get to my angle. And I typed in this string, north, 75D for degrees, 35 minutes, 35 seconds to the west. The result should be over here, shouldn't it? Should be over this direction. Boom. There it is. So I went north 75 degrees, 35 minutes, and 35 seconds to the west. That is how you enter survey coordinates using AutoCAD. Let's do a distance real quick, and it'll tell you the angle in the XY plane. Okay, so I hope that helps. Do some more practice. Some of the key takeaways is this. When you start your line segment and you choose your point of beginning, be sure that your cursor is pointing above the horizon before you start typing your line length and then before you start typing your angle. If not, you'll get an opposite result and you'll be reminded. Okay? Hope that helps. Good luck. If you have any further questions, just get with me and I'll help you out.